Hello people, how are you? Here I bring you the third part of information about green iguanas, to help you get to know better your pet or that animal with prehistoric features. Let's start. The conservation status of this species is of minor concern, but this does not mean that it is exempt from the risks associated with the alarming deterioration of its habitat and that of many animals due to massive deforestation. The marketing of iguanas is under special license, as they are listed in the CITES for its acronym, which is the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. Inevitably in the future, the only way to obtain specimens for hobbyists will be captive breeding, due to uncontrolled hunting in various regions of different countries in the Americas. Populations have declined significantly, as is the case with other animals. Currently, there are many conservation plans in different states of Mexico, one of the most important being Chiapas in different biospheres. Warner and Ray, 1987, mentioned that at birth an iguana weighs about 12 grams and its body measures 7.3 centimeters. The growth rate, which varies greatly among individuals, is 0.23 millimeters per day on average in the natural state. After one year it measures about 15 to 16 centimeters and weighs 120 to 130 grams on average. If it continues to grow at the same rate, by the end of the second year its body will measure 24 centimeters and its weight will be about 480 grams. In the third year it can reproduce for the first time, but it seems that some iguanas do not do so until the fourth year. There are also females that are large enough to reproduce in the second year of life. With reproduction, the growth rate decreases. It is not known for how many years the iguana lives and reproduces in the wild, but it is estimated that it can be around 10 years, at 30 months of life can be considered adults. Their reproduction is annual and coincides with the end of the dry period and beginning of the rains. This is possibly associated with the increased food supply. They lay their eggs in ravines and beaches, in tunnels built 10 to 12 inches deep, where they achieve relatively abundant offspring. Incubation time averages 75 days. Females prefer to nest in sandy places, near water sources and depending on their size, they can lay between 18 to 60 eggs. Eggs weigh an average of 4 grams and measure 3.8 centimeters long by 2.7 centimeters wide. At birth, the iguana weighs approximately 12 grams and its body measures 7 centimeters without a tail. In the wild, it is estimated that only 25% of hatchlings survive. 3% survive the first year and only 1% survive to adulthood. According to Ancon, 1993, the sequence of the cycle ensures that the eggs can hatch during the dry season, and the hatchlings begin to hatch during the rainy season, thus ensuring abundant food, new shoots and leaves, and protection for the small iguanas. The male is limited by his ability to monopolize resources important to the females, for example a large rock for sunbathing. Resources of importance to the females within their territories attract more potential males, however, whether this can be interpreted to mean that females in the wild judge males by the resources or control they have, is somewhat questionable, in light of the fact that large and dominant males in the wild defend small mating territories that do not appear to possess any resources necessary for the females or their offspring. Well, I hope the video has been helpful to your iguana knowledge. See you next time.